What for Wilder now, in your opinion? Yeah. I would have iced half of the motherfuckers out. He's iced out in his fights, you know. And then he come up against, you know, one or two good fighters, and it's, it shows how difficult it is at the top level, you know. So yeah, good luck to him. Um, he's trying to learn now because he's realised he's like fucking hell. This ain't as easy as I thought. I'm fighting elite fighters. He fought Fury, and he realised that shit. Fury's a decent fighter, you know, and uh, he's getting the experience he needs. I'm experienced now. Been in with all styles. I've taken losses. I've had wins. I've tried to box. I've learned to fight. Taking big punches. I've tried to learn the sweet science of boxing, hit and not get hit, and use all that experience. He's just learning that now, and he can use that. And if he does use that as fuel, he can go far for the next four or five years of his career. Um, so good luck to him, but. It just shows, you know, coming up young fighters, it's good to be protected, but don't do no cherry picking. Go out there and test yourself. Test your metal. Anthony Joshua praises Tyson Ferry on his win in the trilogy. So they done well coming through the storm. But at the same time, he says Wilder has found out it's not that easy fighting elite fighters. And he says the fighters he fought up to the point that he fought Fury he would have knocked out too. People look at the 90% knockout percentage and the 41 knockouts, and, and they say he's the most dangerous puncher ever, but they fail to look at the people he knocked out. As Joshua says, if you got a young fighter coming up, it's okay to protect them at the beginning, but don't be scared to go out there and test them. And that's what happened to Deontay Wilder. Now, Joshua is a nice guy. He says Wilder has four or five years to learn. No, Wilder doesn't have four to five years left. He's 36 years old. I think he has a few years left. And I do think there's two or three big fights out there for him. But far as him learning how to box, I think that that's over. That training left. Wilder was never interested in the sweet science. You can look it up. The interview with Radio Raheem on fighthub.com. You know, a matter of fact, I'm going to try to put it in the description box and you can listen to yourself. He says a sweet science is a myth. And if he knew Fury has some more juice left like he did, he would not took this fight. This was supposed to be a cherry pick to bring his profile up. It didn't happen that way. It was a cherry pick going wrong. Him and his management team and the PBC were trying to protect this old, which is contagious in boxing today. If you lose a fight, you're exposed. You're no good. You're not an elite fighter. And I'd rather see a fighter fight other elite fighters, top 10 contenders in the game and fall short than someone that fights cupcakes and keep a perfect record. And you might say 36 years old is not old in the heavyweight division. It is when you have the injuries that Deontay Water has had in the beating he took for Fury. Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, I'm gone.